have a question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Ganungagoth, the great boy. There were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire, and there was ice. And there in the void, they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man, and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Ymir's lifeblood with his spear. Unnecessary. Very evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. Ymir's torn flesh. Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. And we'll pick this up later. What are you fools doing then? We found your son. He... He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. How'd he go out? Did I fight him? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! <laughs> Vandrit always did keep his sword nice and sharp. A lesson he picked up from me. He's a backstabbing bastard, but knowing he's in Valhalla sets me at ease. Thanks. We did a good thing. I'm glad we came back here. That thief did not deserve the peace you gave him. 
Maybe some. Still. It feels good to help people. Even the dead ones. <laughs> so much like your mother. I believe our story was in need of a conclusion. Odin had slain Emir and used the primeval giant's flesh to shape the realm of Midgard. He called himself All Father as if he was the creator and not the creator's destroyer. A small, covetous tyrant. Emir? Huh? Oh, sorry, my boy. Ah, uh, you know, I think it best we just end it there, actually.
Whew. That was the last ship. I hope the captain will be satisfied now. Unlikely. He was determined to put these men to rest himself. But he would have never been able to. That does not matter to him. Our victory will only remind him of his failure. Then, why do we do this? Kavikia! Well, worth a shot. We've seen these runes before, but it's the kind I still can't read. Father, why did you really want to help the spirit? You need the experience. I've had plenty of experience fighting these things. What's the real reason? Mm -hmm. This man inspired loyalty. He took responsibility for his mistakes, and he was determined to fix them. These are good lessons for you. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. stories. When will you tell one that entertains? Oh, thank you. That's right. We kill... Uh... We laid them all to rest. I see. So even in death, I am a failure. But in life you were honorable, strong-willed, and you inspired loyalty. These are good qualities, aren't they, boy? Yeah. I couldn't believe how many men followed you here. I... Thank you for your kind words. May your journey have a more pleasant end than mine. Well, you're right. You didn't seem very satisfied. I guess you never really get over losing ones you care about. Never. story I started earlier. I was to tell you the story of Thrunio the Brawler. The real story. There was a huge battle, right? His shrine had him in the middle, fighting off Aesir. A pretty story, but no. Thrunio, you see, was born with neither head nor heart, so the giants had to complete him with stone. He was strong, to be sure, and also a perfect simpleton. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day. I found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. There he gets from near his fill of mead, and goads him into all manner. Ooh, Tyr's vault is behind that magical lock. He was a god, <laughs> not a giant. Aye, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. 
Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay, so the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods, some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry. Not oh. that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. It smells like. Rain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magni's gone! It'll be a joke! Or if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! Oh, Oops. I think I broke him. <laughs> no. Stay back! to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Odin's eye is on you, brother, especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's her. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never in a god. But a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there.
called the serpent. He is shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The realm of the dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the nine realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your frost axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Up a past, I swore, would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son, and he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the bridge of the damned. There is no road back, understand? Boy. Hey, Mille. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the bridge keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Now. Rhea. When last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be. As you wish.
Vina. Watch your back! <laughs> 